Hello, my lovely Gemini. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Gemini, I welcome you to the first week in July. Sun, Moon, Rising signs and Venus. My highly resonate with you. This reading might be here and there a message. And know that sometimes I might pick up your energy. Sometimes I might pick up the energy of the other one if you are dealing with someone. And sometimes I might not pick up your energy at all know that general readings that's how it works and let's see loves what do we have in the first week from the time you view or from the first to the seventh all right let's look for an overarch energy for yourself and how the things can be there for you where we are heading towards what else we need to pay attention what are those blessings we gather, fulfill, or achieve this week? All right, loves, we have a Ten of Wands underneath, Five of Swords, and Six of Cups, Eight of Swords, a lot of swords, but look at here, loves, leaving something behind. There is somebody here that my return might come forward and it's more likely it's good for them not for you vice versa if you are done with a past situation that might resurface at some point the thing is there's something here you need to clearly see here you are absolutely ace of swords are you seeing clearly what are you doing with the who you are surrounding? Do you know clearly who is this person or who is not? Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Strength. The Strength energy very strongly speaks that you got this, my loves you know where you are in your journey and what you do all what you need is to be clear there is a conversation here it could be with a leo could be with a sagittarius could be even with the aries or a water sign cancer scorpio pisces but somebody here is kind of like mind their business and ba bam somebody here shows up. The Knight of Wands clarifier, Ten of Cups, Death, Nine of Wands, and Three of Cups. It's like somebody here wants to come forward or cheer you up or see you after something here ended or really changed between you two the five of swords ace of pentacles so whoever is this person comes with a lot of red flags because somebody here tries to offer you something but most likely works for them or is good for them so it's like, you know, a, a trade here. I'm giving you something because that works for me or that benefits me. But that's quite small. Or feels big, but it's small. Two of Cups. The Ten of Wands. Sun. Justice and Queen of Wands. So look at that, loves. Look at that. So there is messages coming in. Somebody here could have their son in Libra or could have strong Libra in the chart. 
Will this be allowed? You know, loves. You know. The Six of Cups energy here. Page of Swords. Ace of Cups. And Seven of Cups. Whoever comes back, you, you might need a lot of information about them. Why, how? Because it's kind of confusing to you. What's going on? Why goes on? So for many, many few Geminis, there is someone here who tries to come back. For others of you, there is a new person here. But the thing is, they are here because they see you single. It's kind of the opportunity showed up. So for those Gemini who just ended a connection with whomever, you still having a hard time to figure out what to do, how to do certain things. So come somebody here, but whoever is this person, yes, shows up as a soulmate energy, but comes because it's like, this is my time to approach you. And you are really confused what they are offering here. It's love. What's that for? It's friendship. So it's someone you know for a long time. Could have earth, could have water. Okay. And also for some of you, Geminis, you might end the connection with someone who probably cheated on you or, or just separate because for whatever reason or was a, was a connection which always, always have difficulties. The strength energy here brings you King of Swords, World, Seven of Pentacles. The strength brings very strongly that, yes, I am clear for whatever it is, but I need to take my time. Seven of Pentacles speaks very strongly that I need to leave the baggage behind for whatever was and then move forward. So I see here fire energy with air or water with fire. And I see somebody new. Could be a big difference between you and this new person. But yes. So look at here. Queen and King. They are going different direction. Whatsoever the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands goes here. It's like the passion still. The love is gone. Whoever you are dealing and we have King of Swords and Page of Pentacles. Quite a huge difference between these two. So yeah, loves, speak up your truth, take your time and reflect on whatever baggage you need to leave behind and how much time is. So whoever is this person, they, they seen the opportunity. Okay, and it's nothing wrong. Yes, they seen that little light. Oh, you know, I got to use this opportunity to go forward and be with you. You are just kind of like, uh, I'm not sure where I am, what I want, who I want, or if I want someone new in my life. The best advice for you, loves. Page of Cups, Chariot, Tower, and Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Swords right here. So look at here, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. 
nine of wands nine of cups is missing what do you truly want i feel here you see the opportunity that is here to move forward but surprisingly to you you might choose to be by yourself or to work on yourself which many times this is the way to go surprisingly of whatever it's on the move or how i can go forward i will choose me so you are choosing you and giving yourself to detach in the first place from whatever you've been through or whatever you had so to get yourself together the way you feel are more connecting towards so here we are gemini's and what the oracle speaks to you here reclaim your power the panther spirit the 44 and i might speak here with someone in mid 40s someone here who looks really great and have a lot of things to be achieved forward movement The 68, one bad spirit, be at home. It's more likely you find yourself where I'm feeling comfortable. Or you try to find yourself. The 62, the turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. Taking your time to, to get in the place where you want, absolutely. And the number 33, freedom is yours. You are choosing your path. You are free to choose who you want to go forward, what you want to do next. Because there are a lot of possibilities. Now you see, I have other options to explore, to look up to not just one option so it's kind of it's a good try but i will do my tryouts first thing first so here you are gemini's it's kind of like the the power your power comes to the place where it needs to and that's awesome and that being said i bless all of you and thank you for watching. Thank you for coming in. If this connects with you in a way or another, let me know. Share it. Connect it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. And of course, I will see you next time. Namaste.